Today we're bringing you a really old insect book. This is a 1956. It was first printed in 1951 and then reprinted again in 1956. This one happens to be the 1956. There's 225 species in full color. And as you can see right here, I think some of the insects got a little bit of the book. Not too bad though. Not too bad. But you can see on the inside here. Uh, well, that was the beginning. Where did I see it now? Oh, right down in the inside here. See, it was copyright in 1951 and then again in 1956 by Golden Press. All right. So the back is eh, just a little bit in this corner here. All kinds. Very nice book. 1956. But it has everything. Look at that. You even got the measurements there. The whole index. But it's where the book is just filled with beautiful colors. Look at that. All the bugs you want. All kinds of bugs. Ugh. Isn't that weird? So, of course, you know, when we find some interesting bugs out here living in the country, these are all the different bees, we turn around and bring the old book out. Got this at the auction, and I tell you, the grandkids have found it very interesting. They go, ew, ew, as they look at them, <laughs> which, of course, is natural. You know, you see some of these. I mean, this is the ants, and they go, ah, we have some of those. You know, so they really, they enjoy it. It's like, Mimi, look at this bug. Get your book out. Get your book out. So, some of these we look, some we find. Look at that. Nice colors. Colors in the pictures are beautiful. Now, see, we have a lot when the leaves are being eaten up like that. They want to know all about the little bugs. So their world knowledge will be very good when they grow up. And it's pretty good now for the older ones. This was interesting. Because they catch them and put them in uh, canning jars and everything. So they light up at night time. It's the only way they can bring it in the house, right? But it's kind of cool to learn all about it. Get to find out why they do what they do. Look at that. Of course, you know, like the potato bugs and stuff like that from the garden. All the different bees. We find some rather interesting stuff. Look at that. As they grow up, I'm sure a lot of the stuff will be useless information. Because sometimes you'll hear people talking and you're going, really? <laughs> ah, you've got a lot of useless information in your head. All about the butterfly. They love butterflies. They'll come and say, hey, look at the spots in this butterfly. What kind of butterfly is this one? So, of course, the older ones who can turn around and read a little bit, get in there. You can just hand them the book and say, you find the picture of that butterfly and we'll read all about it. So they read what they can. And then I reread it so they know how much they did catch and how much they didn't catch in their reading. And, of course, they go down to go to school and with all the city kids and everything. And then it's like, really, we know all about this butterfly. Which is cool. It's always nice to know extra information. You can tell them all about it. And they go ask the teacher, well, all right. Oh, 
A lot of education in bugs. Especially when you can use, I got a different size magnifying glasses. So that works really good for them. See, this one kind of looks a little bit like the leaves that got eaten up. Look at that. You have it right in the wings. But all in all, this is a pretty good, very educational book. Works out good. You'd be surprised what the kids can learn. When you're out in the country, there's a lot you got to learn. But if you're trying to grow a garden and you see it's been eaten up, well then, you have to read all about that bug. Then you got to know on how to take care of it. Because you know, when they eat up on your leaves, there goes your vegetable. So they do pretty good. All part of education. And anything you learn is something nobody can ever take away from you. Because once you learn it, you've got it in your mind long enough to turn around and pass it around. It's there for keeps. Pretty good, huh? Alright, well I hope you've enjoyed my bringing it to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more of some good old auction finds. And maybe tell you a few little stories about it too, huh? <laughs> Sorry about that. Alrighty, bye-bye.